Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. As we are starting off our day here at the ore station, what I have done is overnight I have harvested up a whole bunch of ores. We've got some cobalt, some iron, some magnesium, and we're ready to go to one of these stations and sell and sell and sell. That is the goal. Ooh. You don't want any of my magnesium, but you want my cobalt. So we'll set you to a medium cargo connector. All. Sell. Yes. There goes almost a million credits. My goal today is to get a whole bunch of credits. As what I want to do is build all sorts of things. Not build all sorts of things. I want to buy things. I want to buy all the things. So I'm also just going to transfer all these th things into here just so that you can only sell what's in your cargo containers, which is kind of annoying because your connectors and stuff might get things in them and then you, they, they can't sell them. So I might have to put on a uh, inventory sorting mod to keep everything in my cargo containers. But also, when I was doing all my scouting for the last episode, I ran into a station that was selling large steel tubes. So I purchased those. So we can add some drill heads to this ship. And with some drill heads on the ship, we can go and we can sell off all sorts of wonderful things. So, let's see here. Uh, oh, we could sell some steel plates. It wants some motors as well. Oh, nice 175,000 there for a few more motors. At the moment, I'm not going to get rid of any of them. Because I'm going to use them to do some upgrades to this ship. As, yeah, it kind of needs it. So, let us get out of here. We're going to unlock from the station here. And head off to some of the ore locations that I have uh, I've scouted out. As you can see on my GPS list here. Uh, yeah, I kind of spent a while um, <laughs> looking for components. And looking for... Uh, uh, different ore locations, and I've got a whole bunch to go to. Um, but what we want is we want some gold and some... Uh, there should be iron cobalt there, magnesium, silicon, nickel. There's gold, silver that way. Where else is some of my gold, silver? Because I have tons of it. Uh, hey, I have some gold, silver over by this stuff as well. Excellent. My different places that I uh, that I search through, but yeah, we're gonna do some upgrades to the jump jack here, as it's such a nice little ship. And if you go onto the workshop right now, you'll get a upgraded version of this ship in order to use as your spawn ship, if you so please. So, go on today and get your uh, your jump jack. But yeah, I'm also. I'm going to be redoing a lot of my workshop items in the future. Um, well, I'll probably be deleting some of them because they're just like old. And they're I, really bad when I made them originally. So that's not a good thing. So I'll, I'll delete some of the older ones and I'll make better uh, workshop entries. Like if you see the ones for the, the jump jack, I haven't finished its description yet as of the time of posting. But... Like, I do have, you know, multiple pictures, a custom thumbnail for it, so it actually, you know, looks good. But, what we're doing coming down here, we've got gold and silver in this location, but what we want to do before that is we want to get some drills on this thing so that we can do some drilling stuff. So we're going to take off those there, and that will give us these cargo cargo ports from the Gatling guns and then from uh, let's see I want that color that would be a beautiful color from here we're gonna want uh, some some plates and some interior plates that should be enough because we need to put on some small cargo conveyors going down straight curved uh, ooh. where do I want to put this curved out and then curved forward and then drill 
Ah, that looks beautiful. And then we'll mirror that on this side as well. With curve down. Straight. Then out and forward for drill. <laughs> they are all connected up. How wonderful. And uh, I am carrying the large steel tubes, so I need to, to quickly deposit them and then build and repair. We'll finish up building my beautiful, beautiful drills. Block tools. We can add the drills on there. And we have drills. We are an effective drill ship now. So now we're just going to uh, let's get a good angle on this right in here and punch our way into the rock and grab some of this silver and gold so that we can take it to other places and sell it. And since I'm going deep into a cavern now, maybe what I should do is put some lights on this ship because, you know, lights, that's actually, you know, a useful thing. Uh, we'll grab stuff for interior lights. I think a light on each battery, a light in between there. Ah, where else? Probably one on the chin of the ship. Leave it a little bit of light there. And it's too bad I can't put one, like, right there. That would be perfect. Uh, or, or I can't put ones on the front of these goddamn drills. Tis annoying. But I can put them on the top of the drills. Light. And rotate that. Light. Uh, where else? I think at the meantime, this is probably more than enough. Yeah, that's probably fine for now. We'll jump in here. We'll grab those lights. And we'll put them into a group. And also, I like to clean up their names so they don't have those icky numbers afterwards. Like, ugh. They're useful sometimes, but you can get rid of them and then just grab them all. And... 245, uh, 245, 220, with a radius of, say, 6 or uh, 7.5 meters. The reason why those particular numbers is that is more of a... Um, uh, turn them on and off. Excellent. Now I have some light for my cavern, so I don't actually need my uh, my headlights from my, my, my suit. The reason I like those numbers is it's not a hard white. It's a nice off-white. So that way, it's not so, you know, harsh when you're looking at it and you're um, seeing stuff around it. It's a nice sort of soft glow to the light. And I think it's a, a wonderful beigey color. But here we are, getting to the gold. And the good part about this is that we don't really care if we get extra stone, because we can process it with our survival kit. So if we get a little bit extra stone, who cares? Like, hey! Ooh, here we go. We're at the gold. Excellent. Gimme, give gimme give gold. Gimme give gold! But yeah, we're gonna gather up maybe, I don't know, 10, 15,000 units of gold. And the ultimate goal in this episode, I think. Oh wow, I went through I went through gold on my way here. I didn't even notice. I think the ultimate goal of this episode is to make myself like, I don't know, ten million credits in this episode. I think it's more than possible. As we can, you know we'll be producing this stuff, but also like Motors sell. Like, whip out a thousand motors, just put that in there, and just, you know, make me a thousand motors as you can. And they're like over a thousand uh, credits each, which I think is almost excessive. I mean, they take a while to build, but geez, it is a lot of money. So, by getting a whole bunch of ores that we can sell, and getting a bunch of motors and other components that we can sell, we should get a bunch of money. Then I'm thinking 
um, we're gonna go to the ship dealer that's in orbit. I I was looking around and I did spot that there is the ship dealer in oh geez. Come on, ship. Rotate back to the left. We need to maintain our, our level here. There we go. There was the ship dealer on the surface. And they can sell me some rovers that have uh, refineries and assemblers and stuff in them. However, if I do that on a rover, the just the ground on the moon is ridiculously hard to navigate through a rover and so I honestly I tried it and I'm just like is this viable and I bought one of the rovers on a just a test um, game and holy crap no it's not you can't you can't drive those things on planet they're ridiculous so we got 9,000 there we've got 3,000 there so we got about 12,000 gold it's probably okay for gold I just want to make some more space here so that my ship has oh come on can I not there we go I want to be able to turn my ship around it is way too long to be a miner really really realistically a miner that I would design would be like half this length but you know just gotta deal with what you have and we're just using our right click here making space for us to be able to, to turn around oh, come on there you go lots of space now and now we can go down to that silver hopefully still a bunch of gold here though so I might have to mine through the gold with the left click until I don't see any more and then just a tap the right click open up some space and there we go now we're now we're at the silver good we can grab some of this now and hopefully I sh I should be able to as I believe this thing has enough thrust to if I get it totally filled up here which we're starting to get to that point we have a few thousand silver but our drills are starting to fill up, which is not a good thing. We should be able to just aim straight up and just drill our way out. As this thing has most of its uh, thrust pointing forwards instead of down. Awesome. Yeah, what do we got? Like, I don't know. 12, 15,000 silver. We'll just grab a tiny bit more here. And that should be good for now. Excellent. Alright. So, we should be able to just start to aim up a little bit. We'll right click a little bit. Start making some room. And we'll essentially just fly ourselves straight out of here using right click. Come on. Come on, ship. You can do it. Start to angle upwards. Here we go. And with that angle, we can just fly out to the surface. Which might take us a minute or two to get to, but we'll get there eventually. And I know I'm, pretty, I'm pointing pretty much straight up here. So we'll pop out in a few meters. Come on, ship, you can do it. 13 meters down. Ah, there we go. And pop out. Boom! <laughs> Excellent. Alright, so now we can head back to our ore outposts. GPS. We have the two different ore stations, and they are... One is basically on the other side of the planet. This one is only seven kilometers away. It's where I started, so we'll head back over to this one, 
And holy crap, this ship, it handles like a cow in a shopping cart when it is fully loaded. It is just ridiculous how bad this thing handles. But it works. So that's good. We're going to throw on our... Ah, we have enough H2 right now. I was going to say we could put on our, our generator in order to free up some of the weight here. But we don't need it. Turn our lights off to conserve a little bit of power. And coast on into the ore station. As we've got just a plethora of things to sell. Uh, we should... Uh, da, da, da. We got some gold. We got some silver in there now, which is good. I always want to have things in the cargo container so that the station can access them. And we'll come on in here for a landing. Because I was thinking, it would be really, really cool if I can, using the economy, just buy all of the functionality I need. Like, I don't need to build a base. I can just buy a ship and modify it. I actually don't need to start any grids myself. I can just let the game, you know, give me what grids I need in order to do my stuff. So if I get something like a, um, a mining ship with a, like a, a large block mining ship in space that has the ability to uh, process materials, that's going to be amazing. All right, so medium cargo container. We've got gold, and that's to sell 9,000 pieces. We have that. Boom, 1.5 million. Silver, we need 2,000. We have that. There's another 400,000. Uh, we could, yeah, let's do it. Let's sell off some of these construction components as we have them. Why not? Um, what else? Steel plates, some computers, and some motors. So let's go move those around a little bit as our our storage is just so full right now <sighs> motors i want to get more motors in there badly get the interior plates out they don't need those interior plates and the computers excellent good i'll sell those computers and motors and then we're good at this station and we can fly on over to the other one motors your cargo container, another 300,000, some steel plates, another 144,000, and some computers, another 7,000. I mean, it's just a little bit of money, but it's nice. And we can also take a look at the acquisitions. As there could be stuff we can do here. Hey, steel plates, iron ore, we can do that. We have iron ore. Wait, to not take the acquisition? Oh, whoa, it updated! Whoa, everything updated! Except... Finish? It's in the jump jack. Cannot be finished. Does not contain enough items. Nickel ingots? I have so much nickel ingots! You lie. You lie, you lie, you lie. Do I need to put them in my... Uh, oh, I don't, because I'm building vast amounts of motors. That's why I don't have any nickel ingots. That would be why. Okay, I'll have nickel in a minute here. Uh, deliver items here. Oh, shit, did I... Oh, no, okay, that's the, um, the acquisition. I thought I got a, uh, freaking hauling contract, and I'm like, oh, no, how far am I going to have to go? Uh, but if this updated, that means the store might have updated. Hey, it wants more stuff. Nice. It wants more silver. Yes, please. It wants more gold. I need to move around my gold. It wants more cobalt. Mm, ah, yes. Excellent. I need to move around where my items are. Uh, accepted contracts. You should be able to finish that with the jump jack. 26 nickel. Do I not have 26 nickel processed yet? Come on, ship. Make me nickel. It's soon. Soon I'll have 26 nickel. But I can put more stuff into this cargo container. I can get this more gold in there that I can sell. 
Uh, any more silver? No, just that. Soon. Soon I'll have the nickel. I also have a few more motors that I can sell off. Excellent. And a few more steel plates. Absolutely wonderful. Alright, that should be done by the time I sell off all the other items. Do, 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 do. Gold. In the medium cargo container. Sell it all off. Sell off all the silver. Sell off all the motors. Sell off all the steel plates. Damn, don't have any more. Alright, and now I can finish my acquisition contract. Finish. It's in the jump jack. There you go. Another 10,000 credits. Woo! Okay. So, what are we at now for money anyway? Can I see that somewhere? My info? Hmm. Where is the economy part of this, if not having to... I guess I have to look at a... Uh, I'm running back and forth so many times. I got 6.9 million. Nice! We're already most of the way to our goal. So, the other materials I have is I have the magnesium, cobalt, some more gold... No, I have some more silver. So, I'm going to disconnect here. And uh, we're going to go to that other ore station, which unfortunately is on the other side of the planet. But, thankfully, that is going to just take a brief moment to get there. As once I get, uh, once I get going at 250 meters per second here, and I have my front uh, dampeners off, all I have to do is just try to keep myself pointed along the horizon as we go around the curve of the moon here. My top thrusters there will automatically adjust to keep me from flying out into space and we can just zip so ridiculously fast. And this SC SB beacon is a ship manufacturer so it's not what I want but yeah we're already halfway there more than enough speed. But yeah, having the ability to move around when you just start in Space Engineers now is ridiculous compared to before where like if you have the standard start and you just drop in a drop pod and you're stuck in one spot it's so annoying because the only thing you can do is mine stone. And I mean, I've mined a little stone here, but it's not that I need to build a station for it. I can just fly around, make money, and do my stuff that way. I don't need a whole bunch of uh, extra infrastructure in order to do my stuff. I can just do what I need. And, oh man, I wish they would add some more starting ships that were specifically for um, doing the economy update for the starting ships because this is so much fun comparatively like it's it's a completely different way of playing the game so you can take the uh, like I can imagine they would have like a, a basic merchant ship that would be like an ion or hydrogen merchant ship or like a basic welding ship sort of thing. You know, a bunch of random stuff that you could start off with. But cobalt? We'll sell that off. Magnesium? Yes, please. And it wants more gold, but we have no more gold, unfortunately. We don't have any platinum. But we did. We do have now 8 million, which is pretty good. So, I think we're going to go off to... Uh, first off, components. Where is that station? 12k that way. Because I think we can sell off some of our excess iron, uh, our excess, uh, yeah, iron ore and stuff like that to the components station. In which case, we can make a little bit more money, and then we'll go off to the ship dealer. 
and it should just be a moment here. But yeah, I'll zip over to this thing and sell off some components, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what these guys want to buy from me. Uh, medium container, anything that I got. Uh, you guys want refined stuff. Now, this is nothing useful to me. I've got raw silver, they want refined silver. I mean, if I had the ability, I would do it. But at the moment, I don't. But I could, I could purchase some additional uh, hydrogen here, if I needed to. Uh, I don't think I need to buy all of that. It'll give me a warning, does not have enough free capacity, yeah. Uh, how much capacity do you have? And why are you putting stone in my freaking hydrogen tank, you bastards? <laughs> my god. Uh, this is all kiloliters, so it's a thousand liters. This is, uh, 14,000 at 160,000, right? I'm so confused. Can we buy, like, a hundred? No. Can I buy, like, twenty? Can I buy 20 of them? I can. Cool. So I just bought a little extra hydrogen, which is quite nice. I mean, it makes it so these hydrogen ships are actually not that expensive to run, considering the... Um, I've got the hydrogen efficiency mods on. Alright, so now ship dealers. Where are your ship dealers? And I also want one that's in space. So... That guy's got to be in space. We're off to him. Because he is above the surface. Alright. There we go. Full on blast towards this ship dealer. And we can go turn everybody off. Else off for now. Eh, just turn it all off. I know, I know where he's beacon. I know what we're going for. But we got... What was it like eight point something million in order to uh, buy a ship? We're looking for something that has refining and assembly capabilities. It doesn't matter how big it is, it can just be a relatively small sort of starter type ship. But as long as I can take this jump jack and link up to it, drop off my materials, uh, use it to get components or to trade back and forth from it to then say deposit raw materials process them and then take them to the uh, component station and sell off those uh, processed materials in order to make mad bank here we are slowing down slowing down don't crash don't crash although I believe that um, the safe zones prevent such things and we can do a little bit of a flare at the end to bleed off all that extra speed and slip on into the safe zone easy peasy excellent I'm finding the 250 um, meters a second top speed is not that bad you don't need to go much faster than that Lock it up, and let's go take a look at what they have to offer in their store. First, we'll see if I can sell anything to them, just to up my money that little bit. Oh, I can sell canvas to them. I have absolutely zero use for this canvas. So, thank you. I'll get rid of it. Excellent. But here we go. We have the Kite Miner. This is a small ship, mining ship to uh, medium cargo containers, easily accessible for maintenance. This will actually, we'll probably get one of these in the future as, you know, it's a functional little miner. Why not? There's also the gerbil miner, which is a hydrogen power ship where this is ion based. So if I have a lot of extra power, I can take this thing where I'm pretty good with hydrogen. We can just, we can just get the gerbil instead. Uh, Mini Merchant is a hydrogen powered ship perfectly for the starting trader. See, these kind of ships, if you could choose a Kite Miner or a Mini Merchant or 
a, a cargo shuttle, you know, these kind of things at the beginning as your spawn ship? Oh, that would be glorious. I'd love that. But yeah, mini merchant, just a little thing. Two medium cargo pair, cargo containers, emergency parachute. Uh, there's the ion constructor. There's a space pod. This is your starting space pod. Uh, interesting that that is 34 million. Jeez, that's a lot of credits. The prospector is a powerful but versatile. Its gas generators can quickly turn ice into fuel. Basic refineries and advanced assembler processes the ores. So this has a basic refinery and normal level assembler on it. A freighter with large containers, two basic refineries, pressurized living space, disposable decoy system, survival kit, rear gatling turret, and several additional mount points for defenses or connectors. Dude, that's the kind of ship I want to get in the future, but it's 132 million. It is way too much right now. The cruiser is fast but versatile, scouting vehicle with Gatling guns and turrets, hydrogen thrusters, and can deal considerable damage. The hauler, large cargo container, survival kit, but nothing about. Uh, capable of carrying small vehicles, converted into a mining vessel, but nothing about its ability to refine stuff. So, not that good. Uh, capable of interplanetary flight, probably just because it has the large atmos atmospheric things on it uh, blue ambassador this is 170 million we're not going there yet features jump capability nice it's got a jump drive production capabilities medical room small loading bay emergency parachutes yeah this is like a mobile base so 170 million for a mobile base starter ship mark one because of widespread space pioneering they're slow lack life support but come with advanced production capabilities. So this would have uh, most likely a full assembler and full refinery. But, day expensive, man. Red Cruiser 474. Damn, an, an aggressive miner operate in a hostile territory. When it lacks in mining capability, it can hold its own in a fight. So I think what we want to get is more like more than likely the prospector here. It's 11 million, so we need a little bit more. So what I need to do is go back, mine some more stuff, and sell it, and also process, maybe make some motors and such, and sell those components and those ores in order to get 11 million because then this is everything i need yeah it's literally everything i need yeah all right so 11 million is my goal let us go and do it 2000 credits each here for these motors okay uh, which way is out? Uh, this way. Also contracts. Do you have any wonderful contracts for me? Do, do, do. Hauling contract. 2,000 kilometers. That's to Mars. Hauling contract. Again to Mars. Or wait. 2,000. Yeah, 2,000 is to Mars. 5,000 is to Alien and 200 is to Earth. Escort. We are so not there yet. We need to buy a couple uh, a combat ship before then. Ah, uh, we're not doing any contracts. We're a merchant. We space truckers now. So, we need to go get some more stuff. I will be back. But, in the meantime, we're gonna head on over to my mining places over here. Which are on the other side of the planet, unfortunately. But, we'll get there lickety split. As we are flying through the air with the greatest of ease, so the GPS back on for the ore stations. And I'm gonna go get them. So I'm gonna cut here, I'll go 
mine out some more stuff and pop over to the ore station and see what they they want to buy. I probably should do that first before I go mining. But I'll go get all that information and I'll come back when I've got that 11 million. All oh, being nice and fat and fully loaded with new ores. Oh, this is great. Come on back down to landing on one of the ore stations. And lock up. Eh. Uh, oof. Oof. It's probably got all sorts of stuff in different containers, but whatever. We'll see what I can sell. Immediately. I have... Cobalt. I got gold. I just got some of it there. I've got silver. I've got 11 million. <laughs> Alright, I'll probably just keep the rest of it so I can process it all and get some uh, better components. But we've got everything we need! Yes! Alright. So. I need to go back to the ship dealers, whichever one was in the sky again. I can't remember. One of these guys. Is it that guy? 14 kilometers, 19 kilometers, ship dealer. Ah, we'll just start heading one direction. And we'll eventually get there. But my god, we're slow. We're such a fat little ship right now. So heavy. Off we go to the wild blue water to get a ship. Woo! Coming in here for a landing. Do, 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 do. And stop up. Lock up. Alright, we're gonna get to buy our ship. I'm so excited. Alright. We wanted the prospector. Right? Yes. It's only 10 million now. What? I thought it was 11 million earlier. I'm, I'm not insane. That was 11 million earlier. It must have changed its prices. It's giving me a deal. Alright, well I'll buy your your prospector. Ugh, 11 million out of the budget. Ow. Hey, let me out, goddammit. And where is my ship? It should be. Ah, oh, there she is! I have a ship. A large block ship oh cool it's t it just has a cockpit on the front ah oh, it's got refineries what else you got in here there's also obviously this large hydrogen tank another basic refinery and let's take a peek inside it has a full-on assembler a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of small cargo containers, which is fine. Excellent. Alright, so let's move on out of the save zone. And sit there for a second. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it even has... What's this? Is this like an internal area? Oh, it is a little pressurized internal area. Cool. We got hey another survival kit, another place, and then this this passage. Well, we can retrofit this to a bed eventually. Here, I'll actually uh I'll default this and set this thing to red. Of course, we'll we'll grind that out so we can make that a bed. Uh, oh, and then, oh, it's a rear access to the cockpit! Oh, cool! I like it. I like that a lot. And climb the ladder. Hey, don't need to put on my, uh, my thing here. Might have to add a, uh, gravity generator in here. And I think I want to depressurize. Air vent. Depressurize, please. So, you know, we're not wasting whatever uh, oxygen you do have here and any ice you do have, as I can just get it off my bottles. Hey, and more bottles and more tools! We can deconstruct those in the assembler. 
which, well, I'll take the bottles, of course. I mean, bottles are always useful, but um, tools and such can be, these three can be broken apart. So assembler, boop, 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 production, disassemble all. Wonderful. We have the ability to make everything. Everything! Alright. Now, the only remaining question is I guess we can just use this um, back connector for now. Let's go get the jump jack connected on up to that bad boy. Unlock from there. Come on over here. And we can fly on down to this ship. And I so totally have to put an antenna. Now, probably just a beacon onto this thing so I don't lose it. As I will 100% chance lose this ship if I let it just fly around. And we're going to... Ha! <laughs> there goes my bill and repair. Starting on up. Alright. Orient ourselves here. And we'll just plug ourselves right onto the back of the ship. Connect it up. Straighten ourselves a bit. Boop. Locked. And we'll turn off the thrusters on this ship. And now, all the stuff on that ship has gone into this ship. And we should be refining. Right? Stuff is being drained out of the cockpit, and it should be going into my basic refineries, no? Can I not do that? I want to... <gasps> why no... why no transfer? Connector gravel filter? <gasps> oh, it's a place to spit out gravel! No, that's not what I wanted! I'm so confused. There's a filter in this thing. Gravel filter. Sorter. Conveyor sorter. Whitelist gravel. Oh! So is it supposed to be spooting out gravel in the back? Because this is a sorter here. That must be what's going on. So this was incorrect to uh, connect up. I'm going to have to uh, forcibly transfer all the stuff back into this ship. Uh, I can probably get rid of that. And connect up directly to the hydrogen tank. This is this this will work. This will work. We'll get this done. Connector. We'll grab the uh, color from that. And oh, I guess I need some steel plates. Hello. Do you have any steel plates for me? I wonder. Can I? I guess I can't pull them into my cockpit, unfortunately. But yeah, they're all pulling out into this uh, gravel filter connector. That's not good at all for me. Uh, medium cargo container. If I put that into my medium cargo container, it immediately pulls it back out. That's not good at all. I think what I need to do is, is uh, unfortunately, <laughs> to fix my error, I need to... Uh, transfer some of that stuff manually. Eh, come on. Break me off there. There we go. So this stuff shouldn't be in here. This stuff should be inside the ship where I can use it to do things. Uh, we'll transfer these materials and we'll transfer them into the main ship here. And we'll ask Q production for a connector. Which we should have everything to need to do that. Yes, more than enough here. Excellent, excellent. And then once we get that connector on there, and I'll just have to transfer things manually for a bit here. Unfortunately. Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. Them's the brakes. That is a lot of snow to transfer manually. We don't need a... Well, I guess I shouldn't transfer stone because it's going to be spitting stone out. I should so t totally turn that uh, sorter off. Boop. We don't want you to do anything. And this connector in the back. I get what it's there for, but I kind of want to change it. Because we're going to get rid of that sorter. Just because. I don't need to throw away stone. Stone is useful sometimes. We should have everything we need here. No? Come on. Build me my components. Build. Build! Good. Now, yes, everything we need to build a connector. Now we can slap this bad boy down. We'll grab the color from that one and apply it to that one as well. There you go. There you go. Good little build and repair. And now we can take you and connect you up to the top. As soon as I pause the materials, build and repair, we'll finish it off. And the moment it turns on, I should snap to it. Boom. Lock. And there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So yeah, basically what I need to do now is I'll need to manually transfer stuff out of this, which is kind of annoying, but it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it, which is very useful. <sighs> It'll take a few minutes. However, that is fine. But now we have... A decent ship. Like, dude, this is a pretty decent little mining ship. And also, it's everything we need to uh, to make anything we need. Because it's got assembler, it's got basic refineries, but, I mean, it's not like we need to do any advanced refining yet. We you know, don't need to process any of this platinum and stuff that we have. We can just process basic materials and start selling their components. And eventually... We'll purchase even bigger ships. <laughs> oh, man. I think I might just uh, try to go through and do this entire thing with me just purchasing ships instead of... Uh... Yeah, just purchasing ships instead of building them all. I think that'll be really fun. But that's going to be it for now as we have made a big milestone. We've got a new ship. And... Uh... I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching, and good hunting out there, space engineers.